All right, let's go through this overview. Question of the day, how can I use HTML to express a personal value? In this lesson, the class creates personal web pages on a topic of their choice. The lesson starts with the review of HTML tags. Next, the class designs web pages, first identifying the tags needed to implement them. All right, let's do this. Paragraphs. Use the P tag to separate the paragraphs. All right, so we can see the paragraphs are here. They're just not, we don't have the tags on them. So let's do it. Carrot, P, carrot, opening, and we gotta close it. Carrot slash P, carrot, and there it goes. Carrot P carrot. You know what? Let's just put all the carrot the opening carrots on all these. Control C to copy. Now just control V. Control V. Now I'm gonna copy all of my closing tags. Control C. Control C. Or control V, I'm sorry. And then close off this one. And there we go. Now we have all of our paragraphs separated out. All we had to do was open the carrot. I mean, open P, close P. Right? For each of our paragraphs. And that was it. All right, let's check out B. Debug paragraph tag. Fix the code so there's no pink. All right. We have our opening HTML and our closing HTML. We have our opening body and our closed body. But we don't have an opening P here, right? We have a closed P, so let's put the opening P then add the closed P. So now we have this one right. And then we need an opening P and a closed P. It's kind of sloppy though, so let's go ahead and clean up our code. Right, so all I'm doing here is keeping our code right so it looks cleaner. So when you look at it, you know exactly start, start and stop start and stop and you can see no matter what I do how many enters I do here it doesn't change on this side All right so we're just cleaning up the code so it looks nice and that one's good on to the next one debug the missing paragraph okay fix the problem that's causing the bug. Here's the problem, the pink. And I can see right here, see the P? It's got a period instead of a closing carrot. So let's go ahead and fix that. Open, close, well, it's not closed. Now it's closed and everything's fixed. All right. On to the next one. Debug headlines. Fix the pink errors. All right, here's our pink error. You see we have an H1 and an H3. So we need to fix that to match. H1, H1, good. And then we have H3 and H1 here. So let's go ahead and fix this one. Looks good. B boing. They don't match up, so let's make sure they match. And they do. 
and now we're good. All right, next one, larger heading. Add a larger heading at the top of the page. All right, so here's the top of our page. When I click Inspector, we can click on it and see the code is here. The ocean has a lot of different types of animals. So what we're going to do is instead of a P, let's make it a heading. So we just type H1. H1 with the closing. And there we go. These are kind of like puzzles. All right. Haiku interconnection line break. Okay. Do this. Separate each line using the break tag we are. Okay, so all we have to do, I can just copy this straight up. Select it, Control C. Right, so now I have scrolling through my phone and I want to put the break here. So I'm going to go Control V. Right, so I just copied this. Internet connects us. Now I'm going to Control V again. And you can see they're separated for better or for worse. And I'm going to clean this code up a little bit. There we go. Looks good. Is that all? Yep, that's it. Done deal.